Hello. Um, back in Dang, uh, back in Dangote uh, news. Um, according to reports, um, Dangote Group is going to sell 12.7 stake of uh, uh, an NPC stake in his refinery. He's gonna sell it out. Uh, remember, I told you guys how uh, um, NMPC stake in Dangote have reduced from 20% down to 7 or so percent. So now it looks like Dangote don't want anything to do with NMPC anymore. I think the reason behind it, this is what I think. I think the reason behind it is it is down clear now that they are rivals. Before NMPC wanted to play, in my observation, if you, NMPC wanted to play, if you can beat them, you join them by earlier on investing um, a, a, a double digit stake in the refinery. But it looks clearly now that they feel like, hmm, you know, this guy is not playing. You know, we better compete with him than try to. Uh, uh, be friends with him or try to partner with him or something. So in the business world, people know exactly what is going on, you know, and it will take somebody from on the inside to know what is going on in regards to Dangote Group and the NNPC. And I think one of the reasons is the whole mortar uh, thing that uh, Aliko Dangote raised. But at the end of the day, if you ask me who is actually winning this back and forth, surprisingly, I'll say Dangote, you know, because one, he is part of uh, what we call uh, in America, what we call a company that is too big to fail. As for the fact that Nigeria uh, entrepreneurial uh, industrialization face is still somewhat active Dangote is that in that forefront and if anything happens to the company know how know how know how it will affect Nigeria maybe not the way other everybody seen I see people attacking him saying that he's uh there's this activist I forgot his name he went on one of these podcasts and was you know attacking Dangote saying Dangote have been using Nigeria money to co continue to maintain his status as the richest man in Nigeria, blah blah blah. One thing about is that one thing about being a capitalist. I, I've said this before, and I'll repeat it again on this channel. One thing about being capitalist is capitalist is seeing an opportunity and taking it. He's not running a charity organization. There are people that are go that. He is just one mistake away. Aliko Dangote is just one mistake away for his company to crumble. A lot of people think that because he's where he is now, he's comfortable. He doesn't have to do much. He is even working harder than he's supposed to work ever. So all these years, opportunity comes, he takes it. That's what capitalist, capitalist uh, uh, mindset is. If he doesn't do it, somebody will knock him off as long as industrialization he is the face of foreign uh, companies wanting to invest billions there is no way they will not consult dangote or somewhere somehow see his movement and it's okay if this guy can take this risk and do this a b c and d in nigeria we can do it all we need to do is find a way to know what, how he does it. So if he's going through difficult times with the federal government, and I like how federal government have been handling it, even though it was sketchy a couple of weeks ago, if if it goes bad, potential outside investors, which Nigeria needs so badly, Nigeria, for a country of, this, of that size, doesn't have people investing in Nigeria as they should. If you want to see countries investing in co overseas countries, investing in African countries. Look at South Africa, look at uh, 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 um, Egypt, and to an extent Kenya. These people are investing money, knowing that those places 
they're not gonna go through a lot. I don't see that in Nigeria more often because of foreigners go through shit to invest in Nigeria. Despite how risky it is to invest in Nigeria, let's be honest, it's very risky, especially now. What needs to be done is to set a tone that will make people say, okay, we can do this here. And if they see Dangote crumbling, maybe another one or two companies, they'll fall back. You know, they'll probably go to another country. They might not have lesser, bigger markets or lesser profits, but stable. And they go there and Nigeria will lose. So federal government know all these things and they are finding a way to make sure that Dangote is okay. Uh, make sure they are okay too. So in, in all, what Dangote is doing right now by selling this share is more of drawing the line you guys are you and we are we let's you know uh, 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 compete and it's a healthy thing NNPC have declared they are publicly run company but we know you know it's still state run you know but not a, in a bad way I'm not putting it in a bad way but being realistic me I don't think there is anything wrong in competition is Dangote is if Dangote is competitive. Other energy sectors are competitive. What are we crying for? Everything is good. So, yeah, the news is Dangote is selling remaining 12.7 shares of uh, 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 NMPC stake in his refinery. I think I don't, I probably, I probably may do more research and do a video about who's buying it or something, because I don't think there's any potential buyers yet. I don't know, maybe I'm a, a little bit behind, but I'll catch up, but it's official. They are selling 12.7% stake, remaining stake, 12.7% uh, stake that NMPC have on their, on, their, on their refinery. So if you have anything to add to this, uh, and as I always, I want this channel to be interactive, you know, and some of you that have been interacting, talking, I appreciate you guys, man. Uh, it means a lot. And, uh, once again, uh, thank you for the support. Subscribe, turn the notification button on, and then uh, let's continue to have discuss on different topics that uh, uh, we all can learn uh, one or thing, one or two from. All right, see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.